good afternoon, my friends. Uh, this is Patrick Allman for Stop Doing Nothing. I'm going to give it a couple minutes because we're doing a Facebook Live, and the best thing to do on Facebook Live is give it about 30 to 60 seconds so people can uh, come in because Facebook is in the process of spreading the message right now. Uh, for those of you who are watching uh, for Facebook Live for the first time on Stop Doing Nothing, uh, my name is Patrick. Like I said, I run a website called StopDoingNothing.com, which I would encourage you to visit. Uh, we're always looking for guest writers over there, and we like to spread a message of the action it takes in life to get off your butt and get things done. I'm a very action-oriented person. I like to surround myself with people that are the same way, people that, that know that life is comprised of hard work and not too much whining, if at all possible. I think I'm covering up the microphone here. And so we like to spread that message. So I encourage you to go over to the website and check out the various blog posts. Uh, our traffic is growing every single day. I just some traffic checks earlier this week, and we're setting some records every single month. I think uh, our last month, which was, I guess we're in October right now, so our last month of September was a record traffic month for us at Stop Doing Nothing. So people like you are the reason that I and several other people work on the website and spread the message. And I like to try to squeeze out a uh, weekly video slash podcast for you. And today I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, picking yourself up. Um, you know, there are a lot of people out there that are very sympathetic, and I can be a sympathetic, uh, empathetic person when things are going bad. I, I've been there. I've had some shit things happen in my life where, um, you know, I've just been really down on the dumps. You know, you can, you can, you know, whether it's bad physical things or bad relationships or bad credit or, you know, $10 in the bank. I mean, give me a break. I've had less than $10 in the bank. I've had well under $0 in the bank before. And fortunately, I've always been managed to pull myself out. But I realize there's a time for, you know, I don't want to sound like insensitive and say whining, but I realize there is a time to be down on, on life. Life just kicks you in the ass sometimes. And there's a time to be, to whine and to cry and to just want to curl up in a corner because, Man, shit can just get overwhelming. Our world is not made uh, for successful people. Our world is made for average people and peep and and you know, it's success isn't easy and being positive isn't easy. And so it's very easy for all this crap to overwhelm you. But that being said, there is a place and a time for that, and there's a place and a time also for you to say, okay, you know what? I've had my month or two of down the dumps and this is not how I want to be. There, you cannot stay down in the dumps for a long period of time and then do amazing things. It's just not possible. If you stay down in the dumps long enough and you turn to some artificial way to stimulate or to you know, motivate yourself, be it alcohol, be it drugs, uh, you know, the, the outcome is never good. And so that's just not a long-term viable solution. Give yourself time to be down the dumps. Give yourself the time to be self-deprecating. Give the time for you to realize that, you know what, this is really bad and I don't want to be here again. But give yourself a quantifiable, finite period of time to do that and then make a decision that after you've reached that quantifiable, um, uh, you know, finite period of time that, okay, you know what? I'm sick and tired of this bullshit. I'm laying on myself. It's time to get to work. And that's what I've learned when I get down in the dumps that, you know what? Yeah, yeah, things suck too bad. I don't want them to suck anymore. I'm not going to let them suck. I will not allow that depression to just sit on my shoulders and dominate me and control me. Um, there have been plenty of times, you know, even recently where I've just not wanted to get out of bed because the, facing the real world sometimes on certain situations is just not fun. And it, it can be overwhelming. I know it can be overwhelming. I, I've been there. I haven't been there for your particular situation because all of us have different situations, but I have experienced my own sense of overwhelm. But after I'm in there too long, I realize, well, crap, you know what? No one's going to get me out of bed. No one's going to dress me. No one's going to shower me. No one's going to shave me. No one's going to, you know, do all those things to get me done. I have to get that. And so if I want the happy things that I see other people have, if I want the happiness I want to create for myself and for those around me, if I want to be able to continue to motivate you via stop doing nothing or doing videos like this, or, or writing blog posts, or going out and speaking in public, or going out and encouraging kids, which I do for 45 hours every single week. I have got to basically, you know, I'm 
man up sounds misogynistic, but I have got to man up or do whatever it takes to pull my ass out of my own dull drums and find the energy. I don't know where I'm gonna find the energy sometimes. Sometimes it comes from coffee. Sometimes it comes out from being in you know, really good weather like this. Sometimes it, it involves uh, you know, going to one of my happy places. I've, talked, I've done some videos in the past about, about happy places. So you know, you've gotta find yours sometime, but just think about that, that if you are in the kind of person that is going through some shit right now, you're gonna get through it. Whether it's financial, whether it's emotional, whether it's spiritual, whether it's psychological, whether it's relationship crap, you've got to decide at some point in time that you're, you know what, no, that is not what's going to control you. When you let things like that control you, and usually it's external factors, whether it's relationship or money or a job or whatever it is, you are basically giving up control of that to somebody else. And once you give up control of that to somebody else, oftentimes you're gonna rely on something else or someone else or some outside thing to come in and fix it. And that never happens. No one can fix your relationship issues or your money issues, you know, but you. When you, if you're like me and you see other people having the kind of success that you want to have and you're wondering, well, when's that gonna to happen to me? Well, it happens to you once you get off your ass and you make it happen for you. And so that's my main message today is, you know, let the, if you're, if, if you're depressed, you know, let yourself be depressed for a little bit. But you know, don't let it go on for six months if you can all avoid it. Pick a time, say, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna feel sorry for myself for four weeks, or two weeks, or three days, or whatever it is, and say, okay, no, done, done. I've seen some people do some amazing things once they put their, once they put their fist on the table and say, I am done with this bullshit. I do not want to experience this anymore. So think about that. Find a time for you to be depressed. Go through it. Get past it, and say, I'm done. Slam your fist on the table. You know. Put on your happy pants, put on your big girl, big boy pants, and move on. And I hope this message kind of resonates with you if you're the kind of person right now who is really down in the shitter with some things. If you're really in the muckety muck, because man, you know you've been there. We've all had our different levels of, of waiting in the crap, and it's just, it's just no fun. It's not, you know, waiting in the crap is never a long term solution. So I hope this is, you know, if you're in that situation right now, I hope this has been a little bit of kick in the ass today to let you know that you will get past it, you will get through it, and there are better better things on the other side, I promise you. I promise you, there are better things sometimes looking you right in the face if you would just take your head from underneath the pillow and, and look at them. They're staring at you right in the face. Um, I hope this has lifted you up today a little bit. As always, please make sure you like, share, and comment, and let me know, you know how you've gotten yourself out of one of those crappy depression moments. Uh, I would love to hear your comments. I reply to every single comment. And if you have any questions that you want me to answer on a future video, I try to crank these out once a week, please leave those in the comments below, whether it's on the website or on Instagram or on Twitter or on Facebook. And I promise you, I will answer them. And if you don't wanna, if you want, if you don't wanna leave it publicly, private message me. Uh, private message me from the fan page, private message me with my profile on, on Facebook, and you know I'll help you there. Or I will get you an email back, or I'll text you, or whatever. Or I'll answer your question publicly, and we'll just keep it anonymous. But as always, uh, this has been Patrick Allman from StopDoingNothing.com. Head over to the website, make sure you subscribe. Uh, follow us on Twitter. You can find me, Patrick Allman, all over the place. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. I am not the least bit quiet when it comes to stuff. This has been your weekly live stream to the fan page. I love every single one of you. Have a great, great week and a great weekend, and we'll talk to you next week. Take care.